to our design project presentation. Myself Angel and I am here to present our design project and our topic is low cost construction buildings. Including me, my teammates are Akila and Abarna and we are guided by Vijitsu. Moving to our project. This is the overview of our project. And moving to next slide. Introduction. Low cost construction is the technique which is by effective budgeting of locally available materials with improved skills and technology. And the next is objectives. These are the objectives of low cost construction technology. Moving to the next slide. This is what is the relevance of this topic and why low cost housing required. This should be also explained in previous presentation. And the next is a table showing housing shortage in India. House is the third basic need of human after food and clothing. India is currently facing a shortage of 70.6 million houses. From this table, we can also understand economically weaker section, low income people and middle income people face housing scenario and it mostly affects economically weaker section and low income people. I hope you all could understood. Now I am over to Abarna. Next slide is factors affecting construction cost. First one is construction material cost. Construction material cost consists of material cost, shipping charges and taxes etc. The second one is labor wage rate. Labor wage varies place to place. If the project has to be started after several months of estimating the project cost, the probable variation in wage rate has to be considered in the calculation. Next is construction site condition. Site conditions such as poor soil condition, wetland, environmentally sensitive areas, river or stream crossing, heavy traffic, etc. These conditions can increase the project cost. Next is project schedule. Increased project duration can increase the construction cost also. Next is quality of plans and specification. Good quality construction plans and specification reduces the construction time by proper execution at site without delay. The next is size and type of construction project. For a large construction project, local workmen may not be sufficient and more workmen may be required. These may incur extra charges and the type of construction project where specialized workforce is required also increases the project cost. Next is location of construction. If the construction site is far away from the available resources, it increases the project cost. Cost of transportation of equipment, tools, materials, etc. increases with the distance and it will increase the project cost. Next is areas from where cost can be reduced. We can reduce the cost by reducing the plinth area using thinner wall concept. Next is usage of locally available material. It is also helpful to reduce the cost. Next is usage of energy efficient and cost efficient material. For example, mud or cement block which use lesser energy. Usage of environmental friendly material just like uh, RCC doors, window frames etc. The next slide is steps involved in building construction. The first one is the preparation of drawing or plans. The next is the selection of suitable and cost effective materials to be used. Next step is the cost analysis and estimation. After that we are giving this plan to the client and check whether it needs modification. After modification, we approach building control department of local authority for the sanction of building plan. Then only we start construction. Then makes boundaries and planned out preparation of site layouts. Then we start foundation works. Dark proofing processes are using in foundation for more durability. Then mercenary work starts. Then fixing of windows and doors carried out. Then we provide lintel, roofing etc. After that we provide plastering. At last painting is given for most aesthetic appearance. Other building services like electric services, sanitary item fittings etc. also included during the construction phase. The next slide is 
development of building material. We know that our ancestors built houses using soil. After invention of new and modern material and techniques, people started using cement concrete, plastic and some composite materials as a building material. But after that, people start facing problems due to decomposition, ecological issues and environmental effect. So here is the revival time of soil. Structural stability and durability are the main two factors with or issues that we used the earth as a building material. So we started using CSEB. CSEB means compressed stabilized earth blocks. These are materialized earth only but it can compressed with mechanically forces and cast into small bricks. When we use CSEB over other materials there are some advantages. The first one is locally available material can be used. The second one is we can cast the bricks in the site itself. The next is local economy. By using locally available materials, economy goes to local people. The fourth one is fast and easy construction is possible. The next is carbon emission can be reduced. Foundation is the element of structure which connects it to the ground and transfers the load from the structure to the ground. Foundation is the lowest part of building in direct contact with soil. Foundation gives enough stability to the structure against various disturbing force factors. The factors affecting foundation are soil, type and groundwater table, structural requirements and foundation, site conditions and environmental factors. A random rubble foundation, pure foundation, rock foundation and pile foundation etc. are the common types of foundation used in house construction. First one is random rubble foundation. The random rubble masonry foundation is ancient stone foundation method where rough uneven stones are used to make the foundation. It is cost effective and environmental friendly construction technology as it does not require energy intensive material like cement and steel. The another pure foundation, rough foundation, pile foundation, etc. are used in weak soils. There are the commonly used foundation in building construction. But in, but in low cost house, the laterite foundation is more suitable. Laterite is both a soil and rock type rich in iron and aluminium. Laterite stones are locally available material and low in cost. They are not different in foundation only take laterite stone as the material. No need of plink beam because wall will be light in weight. So next is wall. The wall is a structure and the surface that define an area there is low, provide security, shelter or sand soundproofing. Brick, stones, hollow bricks etc. are commonly used to material for the wall construction. Through our project we introduce you to some alternative material for the wall construction. First one is GFRG panel. The word GFRG signifies glass fiber reinforced gypsum. It is made up of high strength resistant glass fibers bonded with high density gypsum cement. Glass fiber reinforced gypsum panel is a modern building component used for the mass scale construction of house in a very short span of time. They are basically with a white color and have a glazy surface. It is suitable for the construction of both external and internal walls. GFSRE panel process high structural strength, shearing strength, compressive strength and flexibility. This kind of wall does not require any plastering. Next one is V-board. V-board also known as fiber cement board is a combination of cement and reinforcing fiber formed into the sheet of varying thickness. Fiber cement boards are manufactured from special grade cellulose fiber and inorganic binders of silicon. Fiber cement boards are cost effective and time saving solution for construction. In low cost house, the best material for the wall construction is interlocking bricks. Interlocking bricks are enhanced form of conventional clay bricks. Each brick is cons consistently designed to lock itself to the other bricks around without use of mortar. Interlocking bricks are compressed and stabilized earth bricks which contribute to the strength of the structure. The advantages of interlocking bricks are low cost, more floor area, rapid construction, eco-friendly, zero carbon emission, no need of mortar, etc. High quality of interlocking bricks are manufactured from cement, sand and soil which contain 20% of 
black content. The compression is achieved by the hydraulic compression system. Here we can see a table. This is a specific code IS1725. The table describes about the specification to made brick, brick making. The interlocking brick satisfies all the characteristics. Compressive strength not less than 2 Newton per mm square. Water absorption not more than 15 percentage. Efflorescence is imperceptible. Here we can see the figure some famous ancient building with interlocking system. These buildings are existing now without any damages. So we can say about the interlocking system is very safe. Next is Linden. Lintel should extended, extended on the entire wall. Lintel thickness provided should be less than the conventional house. I am hope you are understood. And the next is literature review. These are some journals that we refer as part of our project. The keywords of these journals also includes low cost construction techniques, cost effectiveness, building materials, construction, etc. And the next is project phases. Here we mention what is the plan of our project and the steps through which we plan to complete our project. And moving to next slide, these are some figures of low cost construction houses all over Kerala. And the next is summary. We know that adequate shelter for all people is one of the major challenges faced by developing country like India. So, low cost housing is a needed requirement. In low cost construction technology, we use advanced technologies and advanced materials without harming the life and performance of structure. The uniqueness of this project is to get maximum comfort in home as to conventional type and is achieved by efficient planning and project management. And from this, we could get a good result which is affordable for low and middle income people. Moving to next slide. These are some journals and links of videos that we refer as part of our project. This is all about our project. I hope all of you could get an idea about our topic and all of you could understood about our topic. I would like to thank our guide Mr. Vijitsa for his guidelines to this project and I would like to thank each one of you for listening our presentation. Thank you.